What's up guys? Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FIFA 17. Before we go into anything, I want to say a massive, massive thank you for the support on the first episode yesterday. You guys absolutely smashed it. If you could leave your support on this video as well, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and never miss another episode. I, I really appreciate the support, guys. And of course, we did have to cut that episode short a little bit earlier than, than I would have liked to. We didn't get to play the first game of the season because... I needed your feedback. I wanted to know what players you wanted me to sign. And I've got to be honest, guys, it's very tough. There were a couple of, uh, of, of names thrown around in the comments, but also a couple of players that I've added myself, including this Andy Najar guy. Now, I'm not too sure, guys, if I'm actually going to make any signings. I'm still a little bit unsure because I feel like the team we've got is actually good enough for now. And I kind of want to, I want to try. I kind of want to give it a go and at least go until January and then maybe buy some backup. I don't know. But a lot of comments were for this guy, Riyad Mahrez. Of course, we were heavily linked with him and Vardy, by the way, um, in the summer. And Mahrez in the end stayed and so did Vardy, unbelievably. And it turns out Vardy was very close. He actually started looking at schools in London for his children, which is... I mean, that is, that's that's surely because he was so close to saying yes, but he decided to stay in the end. Uh, we've got Bellarabi as well. We've got Draxler. We've got a lot of choices here. And uh, it's a shame that Mares didn't join Arsenal. I think it would have been perfect, seeing as at the time we probably could have done with a right mid. But recently, Theo Walcott has been playing incredibly well, and I feel like I should really be giving him a go. Um, so maybe Mares is another signing that I go for in the future. I, I just don't know, guys. Bellarabi is a popular choice as well. I look at his stats and I think, well, he's just a better Theo Walcott, isn't he? I mean, they're both just absolutely rapid. Um, the only difference is Bellarabi, of course, has got the four-star skills. And I believe he's, he's well, he's not as quick, but he's, he's probably a bit better on the ball. Um, but Theo's got better finishing and I would actually argue he's probably more versatile. Um, so maybe it's not worth going for Bellarabi just because of that. Mares is a completely different animal. This guy is not about that pure speed. He's about technical play. He's about keeping that ball close to his feet, dribbling around players, and of course that rocket of a left foot, bending in goals outside the box. And of course he is a five-star skiller in the game, and he can play down the middle. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm probably more inclined to go for Mares, but I think I I'm just. I'm so conflicted, guys. Draxler would also be a fantastic signing. He's been linked with Arsenal for about five, six years now, it seems. And, um, you know, a future replacement for Ozil. But Ozil's still relatively young. He's, he's still got a couple of years left in him at least. So I don't think I need to go for Draxler. So honestly, guys, it's, it's a struggle right now. So what I'm going to have to do is today we will play the Liverpool game and the Leicester game. And you guys are going to have to leave a comment below. Actually, should we do a vote? I'm thinking maybe we should do a vote. Should I sign one of these players? Just put yes or no as your answer. If obviously no wins, then we're just going to go into the first six months of this season with what we've got and just hope that we can get enough out of that squad. Right, so we've got a season loan offer for Chris Willock. We're going to let him go to Derry City. Best of luck, mate. Might take part in the team at some point in this career mode, but probably not. His rating is pretty low. Yes, finally, we've got a transfer offer for Sonogo. Honestly, I just don't see it, Wenger. I'm sorry, mate. Sonogo is not the future of our club. He is going to be sold for 1.2 million to Blackburn Rovers. We got his value. Wow, I'm quite surprised. Okay, that's just hilarious. As soon as we sell Sonogo, our manager popularity rating has gone up by one. Back up to 80. So clearly, the fans agree with me. Sonogo was a pile of shit. So I thought I'd check out some of the big signings that have gone through this season. And of course, Alaba has gone to Juventus. It's a very rare occasion we see that. So big signing for Juventus. Pastore has gone to Liverpool. That's a big one. We're actually coming up against Liverpool very soon. Um, Spurs have lost out on Eriksen. He's gone to Bayern Munich for 39 million. Uh, Sigurdsson's gone to Crystal Palace for 24. Sacco, who seems to be an outcast at Liverpool, although apparently, I think he played yesterday. I'm not sure. Um, but he's gone to Barcelona for 22 million. Oh, wow. Mertens has gone to Man City for 21 million. That's an absolute bargain. Vardy's gone to Chelsea. Wait, wait. He turned down Arsenal and went to Chelsea. You snake. Um, Martinez, wow. Barcelona going all out for defenders. What the hell? Gonalons has gone to Liverpool. Semedo's gone to West Brom. I mean, there are some other signings going through that aren't amazing, but I'm really surprised to see uh, Alaba to Juventus. It's, it's not every day you see that. It's incredibly rare. 
But now, guys, it's time to kick off our Premier League season. We've got Liverpool at home. This ended in tears in real life. It was not a good day for Arsenal fans, but hopefully that won't happen today. I'm really, really hoping we can beat Liverpool, but most, of, most importantly, it's getting three points in the first game of the season. It feels like Arsenal rarely do that, so really, really excited to get this game underway. So here's my lineup for today. We did get an email from Lucas Perez saying, I really hope you're going to play me. I'm in some really good form, but I've decided to go with the team that we're using in real life at the moment. So that's what we're going with. And Perez will come on in the second half, maybe for Walcott, and we'll, we'll shift the team around. But more importantly, let's see the Liverpool lineup, see who we're coming up against, because I think they've got a couple of new signings in their team today making debuts. That's me, by the way. That's the manager I've chosen. There's Jurgen Klopp. Holy shit, that actually looks really, really like him. That's actually pretty impressive. Here's the Liverpool team. They've got Gonalons, but they... Oh, no, Pastore is there. Where's Pastore playing then? He's playing on the left wing? Are they mad? Okay, that's that's a bit interesting. I'm quite surprised to see that. No Coutinho in the lineup as well. And here we go. Liverpool are going to kick us off. And it's a good time to remind you that I am playing on Legendary. I practiced in the Barcelona career mode. I'm feeling like I could do quite well here. Also, we are not using any sliders. Last year, I used 45 pass speed. But I've noticed when playing on slow speed that uh, FIFA 17's passing is just generally a bit slower. Good tackle, Bellerin. Um, so, yeah. And also, my camera angle is co-op. And it's custom, two height, two zoom. I get asked pretty much every single day of my life what camera angle I use. So there you go. Let's uh, unleash Theo Walcott with that pace. We've made a good start here. Alexis is in the box. He's not really going to be winning the header, is he? Oh, he might. Okay. That's, that's a decent start. I'm happy with that. But maybe Giroud should be the one in the box if I'm going to be crossing it in. I'm not too sure about Alexis up front. But I thought I'd give it a go at least. And we're going to get Theo released again. He's going to be really, really good for us. Maybe we really shouldn't be signing a right mid. We can use Theo Walcott. We'll keep it on the ground this time for Meza Ozil. No, it's Xhaka. Xhaka was there and it landed on his right foot. Here come Liverpool now. Here's Klein. He's pushed up quite far. Oh, God, Bellerin. No! What have I just done? That was my fault. It wasn't Bellerin's fault. I don't know why I passed it like that. Luckily, Czech was quick off his line. Here's Xhaka. We'll pass that out to, uh, to Monreal. And try and get Iwobi through. We have loads of space for Iwobi. Fake shot. Finesse. Oh, Iwobi, you've got to put that in. It's just, it's pretty much skimmed the post. Here he is again. He's getting involved early on here, Iwobi. Oh, look at him go. Meza Ozil now. Oh, Matip just had to make a tackle, didn't he? Oh, he's, he's injured him. Ozil is down injured. Oh, no. He's holding his knee. He's walking off very slowly as well. I don't know if that means anything, but we need to carry on. Pretend it's not happening. Here's Bellerin. Try and get the cross in if we can. He's done well. The cross comes in. Oh, that's a dodgy punch. Come on, Iwobi. Nope. Gonalons gets it out. I'm really, really worried about that. Please, Ozil, don't be injured for long. Well, there's the halftime whistle. It's been an interesting first half. We've definitely had more of the ball. We've had a couple of chances, but Ozil, I think, is actually going to have to come off. Let's take a look here. I really hope, oh, I thought maybe just, just maybe he would have walked it off there. But nope, Ozil has to come off. So we are going to be bringing on, I think we'll bring on Ramsey. If I am, if I am ever going to use Ramsey, it's either on the right side, but going forward and helping out the team, or it's that Cam. Tell you what though, what a replacement. You can't go wrong with a bit of Ramsey. I know Ozil's obviously our best player, but I'm actually so happy that for once, in years with Arsenal, we, we've got really good backup players. Jarka over to Theo. I see Kazola. We'll try and get him in. Oh, we're in. We are in. Left foot finesse shot. He's gone with his right. He went with his right foot. Here's John Henderson over to Sturridge. He hits it. Good save by Czech. I thought Henderson was going to smash that into the top right corner. We know he's capable of that. Now, we've got a corner to defend. Milner's come on. I'm guessing in midfield, not a left back. Off the line. Wow. Okay, we got very, very lucky there. Oh, no. Liverpool just brought on Coutinho. Oh my... <laughs> this might just be the luckiest bit of defending I've had in a long time on a FIFA game. How am I not 1-0 down right now? I've got to, I've got to take advantage. Let's get, let's get a goal now. Here's Alexis. Iwobi's going to continue his run. But Ramsey's made a run. I think we're through. Finesse that. Oh, Jesus. This game is end-to-end. -end. Yes, Bellerin. Brilliant tackle. He's got it. We'll pass that inside. 
Oh, come on, Theo. Yes, Theo. Hits it. Hits it. Theo Walcott. How did he skip through that challenge? And more importantly, how did he miss? How do you miss from there, Theo? 12 minutes to go. I'm going to make some changes. We've already used up one sub, of course, but Xhaka looks a little bit tired. So I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring on El Nenny. I want to use all of my players. The obvious choice there was Coquelin, but I want to, like I just said, use all my players. The other substitute is going to be Perez. I think Sanchez is actually going to come off. He hasn't done much today, but he will he will be a massive part of this uh, of this season. So Perez is going to get his chance. He was in great form in the preseason tournament. Can he get us the winner? Here's Ramsey. Get that through for Theo Walker. He's been taken out, but I'm going to I'm going to carry on, I think. I've got a chance here possibly. Through ball. No. Oh, I wish I took the free kick now. 3 minutes of injury time, and I think we are going to end with a nil-nil draw. We lost Urzel early on, which clearly has had an effect. Oh, shit. This is not good. Pastore's through. Oh, okay. No one's there. Come on. One more chance. One more chance. If we can get the ball here, maybe. No. That's the end of the game. Well, that's better than a loss. We lost this game in real life. I've managed to come away with a nil-nil draw. I think the stats say it all, guys. Clearly, it was a very even game. But... As I just mentioned, the shot accuracy, the, the being clinical is still something I need to work on. One shot out of four was on target, and that's just not good enough. Okay, so it's not too bad regarding Ozil's injury. It's only a dead leg, and he will be back in around 11 days. So he is going to miss, I think, two games potentially. So it's not awful. I was dreading that it was going to be something like four months out with a knee injury. So that that is actually okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Now, this always is exciting for me. We get our first monthly scouting update. Now, if we get lucky and there's someone really, really good that we can call up to the squad straight away and start training, that's going to really help us with our, uh, our youth academy objective. So let's hope we get lucky here. 66 to 90. Pablo Escobar again. Pablo, es no, no, I'm not risking it. You are not bringing drugs into our into our team. And um, we get 62 to 84, 60 to 82, 66 to 90. So we've got two players there. Both all seem to be very similar positions and stats. So we'll we'll scout them again for another month. But that's okay. I'm I'm ideally looking for 70 to 94. Um, that kind of player normally turns out to be very good. We get 69 to 93. 58 to 78, no chance. Oh my god, that's awful. 48 to 66. 63 to 85, again, it's not quite good enough. 53 to 71, so we've been a little bit unlucky there again. But this guy, potentially a right mid, 69 to 93 is not too bad. So we'll scout him for another month. But really, we haven't been too lucky there. Moving on to our next game now, guys. We are visiting the champions of the Premier League, Leicester City. It's going to take me forever to get used to that. Right, let's take a look at the Leicester City team. They do have Mares playing on the right. They've got Amate and Mendy in the middle, so no room for drink water. Albright on the left, Slimani and Musa up front because obviously Vardy has moved to Chelsea. And that back four with Schmeichel, or the back five, I should say, is the same as expected. I've gone with the exact same lineup as the last game. I feel like I can get used to it, and it should be the team I'm starting at the moment, especially with Iwobi on the left. So uh, there's me again on the touchline with Renieri, manager of the season by far last year. There's confirmation of my lineup. Again, I think I will bring on Perez in that second half, maybe Oxlade Chamberlain as well. Um, but hopefully this time Xhaka won't get so tired so quick, and also hopefully we won't get an injury in the first half. Straight away, it's Leicester coming on the attack. That's a poor pass, though. And it's a poor pass out. I've lost it again. Here's Mendy into Slimani. Mustafi's lost out. Oh, no. I've got caught with Koscielny as well. Really? Really? I, oh, my God. I've conceded my first goal of the season. And it's an absolute shocker. Petr Cech, one of the most experienced players in the Premier League. One of the best goalkeepers of all time in the Premier League. And he's just made an absolutely massive mistake. But... The original mistake was my defending, guys. I got caught with Koscielny, so I couldn't run to the ball quick enough. Mustafi got out-muscled and out-turned. Oh, not a good start at all. Luckily, it's quite early in the game, so we've got lots of time to, uh, to turn this around. That's a good ball to Xhaka. I'm going to hit this. Oh, my God, Xhaka. We've all seen what he can do from range. Decent attempt there. We're going to get the cross in. I'm aiming for Koscielny or Mustafi. Ramsey's there instead, and bloody hell, that's a hell of a punch from Schmeichel. Let's try and get the cross back in here with Kazola on his left foot. Oh, what a ball. Walcott, come on, Walcott. Here goes Kazola. 
threaded through ball over to Bellerin, who's further than Theo this time. Let's try and get on his right foot again. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hammer it into the box. Oh. <laughs> and what a clearance that is straight to their striker. We picked it up with Mustafi, though. What a run this is. Here's Alexis. He's turned hoof. Finish it. Oh, Alexis Sanchez. First goal of the season for Arsenal. First goal for Alexis. There's plenty more where that came from. Mustafi did brilliantly well there. Lovely scoop turn on Hoof. Just drives it into that bottom left corner. Schmeichel standing there like a ghost. And there we go, guys. We're back in the game. 23 minutes in. Fantastic. Got to say, though, every time Leicester get the ball, I'm very nervous. But that's a great tackle from Monreal. Let's see if we can get a break on here. It won't be using his pace. It's a nice run. Here's Alexis. Up to Theo Walcott. It's a great pass. Come on, Theo. Oh, no. Morgan got back inside. Oh, you're off. You are freaking kidding me. Now Theo Walcott's injured. He's got back up. I think he's okay. Let's check. Let's pass it to him. Oh, he's still got the injury um, logo on his name. But that's all right. We're going to pretend it hasn't happened. Just focus. We're through here. Ramsey. Shot. Oh, what a save by Schmeichel. We're going to get the ball in. We've still got a few minutes left. It's a decent cross, but too close to the keeper. If I have to change Theo, I'm going to be mad. Time to find out if he is actually injured. Can you imagine getting two, two injuries in the first two games? That would be an absolute joke. Let's have a look. We've got all the possession, by the way. We're, we're really doing well. And luckily, he's okay. He's actually ran off the injury. That would have been... Oh, I would have been fuming. Here's Theo. He's absolutely fine. That's really good to see. Cazorla now. We'll try Ronaldo chop inside. Oh, lovely dribbling, but... Oh, my God. What have you done, Hoof? What was that shot? I wasn't expecting to get the ball back. I don't know why I shot, but Hoof has just absolutely made a fool of himself. Here we go. Come on. Counter-attack time. Here's Iwobi. I think I have to pass this out to Xhaka. He hasn't got the pace. I'm just going to have to hit it. Not a bad strike, but it's gone over the bar. We're going to make a double change now with about 10 minutes to go. One of them is going to be Oxlade-Chamberlain coming on for Theo. And also, we're going to be bringing on Perez as well. So, a double change. Let's see if it makes a difference. Here's Oxlade straight away. Passes it into Ramsey. Over here to Xhaka. Try and get a ball over the top, maybe. What a pass that is for Perez. He's got it. Was he offside? He wasn't even offside. Why didn't I take my time? I, I was expecting the whistle to go, but this is a very poor finish. You've got to be scoring there, Lucas. Come on, mate. There's still time. Come on, lads. Come on. Ramsey into Lucas Perez again. What a ball that is. He's going to get there. Saved by Schmeichel. This game is going to end in a draw, and I'm going to be so disappointed. We're playing some great stuff right now. Look at that. Eight shots to two. Right, we're going to get this cross in. Again, we're aiming for Koscielny. Hopefully, we can score a header. He's being knocked down. Go on, Ox. Oh, my God. Oxlade Chamberlain almost put it in the top right. But that looked like a foul to me in the box. Not too sure about that ref, but a decent strike from Oxlade Chamberlain. He's done well since coming on. And there is the end of the game, guys. It really hasn't been the best of starts, but we're unbeaten. Two draws. That's better than a loss and a draw, which we got in real life. So this is how the Premier League table is looking after two games. Chelsea are the only team to have not conceded and also to have won both their opening games. So Chelsea look like the team to beat at the moment. Man United have done well. Burnley in fourth. Man City in fifth. But we are all the way down in 12th. West Ham are at the bottom of the league with Southampton and Liverpool. I mean, obviously, it's early days. This is going to change massively. But... It hasn't been the best start for us. But now, guys, it's down to you. We've got just over a week and a half there left until the end of the transfer window. And, of course, that does mean I've got time to make a signing should the vote say I should make a signing. We've got four players here, but really I'm focusing on these three for the vote. So let me know if you think I should sign one of these players. Mares, Bellarabi and Draxler. You can also leave comments and give me your suggestions. But really, I need you guys to vote using the link in the description. Should I sign one of these big three players? And uh, as soon as I know the results, I will record the next episode and we'll do whatever, ever, whatever wins. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you in that next episode very soon.